ta-da. Brandon, you're rocking doing it on social media. You're doing exactly, if I had to say you're doing exactly what you should be doing, no more, no less. And if you do much more, you know, if you overdo it, you look spammy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you get kicked out of a group like Club Wealth, the Cult, it's okay. Um, it's okay. You get kicked out of some. Um, yeah, no, that one was funny because he, he private messaged me and said that uh, no, no self-promotion. And all I did, what I, what I was trying to do was do a, uh, you know, a post and then link it back to my profile where I wrote a story. Yeah. Um, so that's what I did. He's like, but I wasn't selling anything like directly, <laughs> but he just said, you know, no, no self-promotion, but if I would like coaching to go ahead and, and contact him and I'm like, all right, I'll just, I remove myself from the group. I was like, I'll find another one. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, look, there's so many groups and there's new ones every day. And that's the key. And Wendy, I know we're jumping a little ahead, but for you, what we're doing is once we have your everything in place, which is so close, then we're going to start doing some organic outreach, which is basically, uh, what Brandon's doing, what I do also is in different Facebook groups. Um, we come with different uh, different posts, et cetera, that capture engagement. That's all it is. Um, and so uh, there's something else I want to teach you. We'll do one-on-one. Um, I've started doing this morning and have got two or three people on my calendar and sold one program this morning. So it definitely works. So uh, all right, so today we really want to talk about grabbing a hold of, and this is going to be more conversational because Wendy is a business consultant, Brandon is a real estate. I don't even want to put a term around you, Brandon. You're 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 a you're a real estate agent. You're you're a business builder. You're a coach. You're an author. So again, not to label um, because we want to don't want to mislabel. Um, but the point is, in everything we do, we're going to have to communicate. Period. So um, this is the YSC program, and I named that this morning. So um, <laughs> it is a program that I just I love putting the name on something. Put a name on something, you own it. So um, here's here's the, here's the real deal though. If you're talking to somebody at a business meeting, you know, and you're at a Christmas party and somebody says to you, Hey, what do you do? Well, tell me more about what you do, et cetera, whatever it may be. Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get the recording. Okay. Never mind. When this records, it only shows me or whoever's talking. I want it to show all of them. So I've got to go in, but I'll do that later. So, but you, you're talking to somebody at a Christmas party. You're talking to somebody at, uh, a networking event, you're talking to somebody on the phone, whatever that talk is, we want to introduce what we do. Uh, Brandon, how would you introduce people to your company without saying, or Wendy, how would you introduce people to your business consultant without saying, oh, by the way, I'm a business consultant. Oh, by the way, I'm a agent with so-and-so realty. Well, by the way, I, you know, I help people and you go into our pitch and we've always been taught to have this elevator pitch. The problem is an elevator pitch immediately brings up sales resistance. Everybody's been trained on it. Everybody. So what we want to do is get a little bit of what we call a truism. A truism is a stated fact that most people believe to get a small level of agreement then once we have that, you're going to share with them what you do. Well, what I do or what our company does, and you're going to let them know what you do. Um, somebody else jumping in real quick. So, hey, Mark, thanks for jumping on board. Looks like we've got a couple of people coming in. Um, so, uh, hey, Mark, thanks for jumping on board. Everybody, this will be recorded and uploaded into the real results uh, if you're a private client, it'll be in the Slack channel. If you're not a private client yet, this will be recorded and uploaded into the Real Results Facebook page. So, uh, Mark, thanks for jumping on board. So, again, we want to start that conversation, but if you just give an elevator pitch, then all of a sudden sales resistance goes up. Anybody in network marketing understands this. You've already got that, either you've got somebody in your life that is that way, or you are that person where you walk up and they're like, oh no, what are they going to pitch me this week? Um, I was doing a training earlier and somebody was selling CBD and 
they just jumped in and told me all the benefits of CBD and why I need a CBD and how I was crazy not to take CBD. And, and so uh, I'm not going to do it here because we're being recorded, but I unbuttoned my shirt and I showed them my CBD patch I'm already wearing for today. I'm like, I got it. I believe in it. So, but sales resistance was way up. If I didn't have CBD, I would have told them I was allergic to it. So I wouldn't have to hear the pitch anymore. It's just, oh, they just vomited it out. So, um, how do we do that? How do we get people to go, wow, Wendy, that's really interesting. Tell me more about your business. Hey, Brandon, that sounds like something I can do. And so, um, and Mark, thanks for jumping on. If anybody, Mark, if you want to post in chat uh, where you're at, if you're a coach or consultant and so forth, I would love to be able to connect with you further. Um, so we're going to give you a, a real simple, write this down, YSC. The Y is you. The S is your story, and the C is the call to action. Something simple to remember. This isn't going to be uh, like, oh my goodness, I can't do business without this. This will be just a little tip that you'll add in, and it'll help you make conversationals conversation easy. Conversation needs. We're in a post trust era. People don't trust people like they used to trust them, and like we have to hit people in a place of real respect. And like with me, if they just said hey, you probably already know that people are hurting. You probably already have heard of CBD and they started that communication. Then that would have been like, yeah, I do know about CBD. My resistance would have been lower, if that makes sense. So you probably already know that prices of life, cost of living is going up faster than our paychecks. You know, you probably already know that having more money gives us more options. Something simple. So you probably already know, or do you know how? So I'll read these over a couple of times. I'm just going to give you three this morning. There's about 27 of them. You don't need 27. You need two or three. <laughs> so you probably already know, or do you know how? And the last one is, I think you already know. Yeah, I think you already know that living paycheck to paycheck feels like a dead end. Who could argue with that? Somebody that's a multimillionaire, maybe they don't live paycheck to paycheck, wouldn't understand, but maybe they did at one point. So the point is the you, you probably already know, or do you know, or I think you already know. And I want you to practice those. And when I say practice, I'm practicing talking to your kids, talk to yourself, it's okay. When you jump on a call, just start practicing with people. You know, you probably already know. It's very assuming. And then you want to have a statement. So this S is the statement or the story. You know, I was in that copywriting uh, group that, you, Brandon, thank you for inviting me in on that. I couldn't stay the whole time, but it was good content. I was like, this is, you know, if you hear what he was saying about building out that story um, in a way that, you know, copy can be different. So we're doing copywriting and we'll go through some copywriting at some point, but copywriting can be soft or hard. Uh, I like this. I like hard at sometimes. I like to really, this is our offer. But in our communication, we've got to be a little softer. So you probably already know, Brandon, that, hey man, cost of living is going up faster than most people's paychecks. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. What I do is I show entrepreneurs such as yourself, well, I show entrepreneurs how to blank, how to get another paycheck without getting another job. I show entrepreneurs how to close twice as many sales without sounding spammy and like a sales, like a used car salesman. What my company does. So it's what I do or what my company does. So you probably already know how living a paycheck to paycheck feels like a dead end. What my company does is help people provide, uh, help my, what my company does help give them a second paycheck without having to get a second job. What my company does is actually pay something called revenue share that can slowly build, but over time replace most people's full-time income. Now, Brandon, me and you talked about a benefit to you may not be a benefit to somebody else. And we'll talk more about that. Uh, I ran into that this week myself. So I'll, I'll share with you guys and, and I'll get back to the YSC. So, um, uh, and Brandon, your name and your picture just popped in my head. Like I just talked on this. So I'm helping, uh, I'm working with a client and we're selling a digital marketing package. And they said, well, does your software do this? 
bam, 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 bam. And I thought, wow, that's what they want. That must be what they want. And ours doesn't do this. I've lost a sale. How can I? And so I'm trying to, I'm trying to overcome the objection. And they said, well, it's really not that important in any way. In fact, it's kind of cumbersome having to keep up with all that. So if I just slowed down and said, that's a great question, Brandon. What about that really do you like? Or what about that don't you like? I could have saved a lot of embarrassment, a lot of wasted words, and really kept moving and flowing. So the student was the teacher. <laughs> so, but what do you, so what you want to do is let them know what you do. Again, I'm going to go back to that. Um, what you do, what your story does. And you don't want to give a long sales pitch here. Nobody wants a long sales pitch. So let me give you another example. If I said, hey, who wants to go eat after this meeting? Who wants to go have lunch after this meeting? Is it the yes or no? I do because my intermittent fasting is catching up with me and my bottle of water is, is not cutting it. Um, so I've got a, my, my intermittent fasting is broken up with Hershey Kisses over here. So I don't fully, I don't fully intermittent fast. But my point is, if I ask, if I give a simple statement. So what my company does is help coaches attract high paying clients on autopilot. That's the call. To, that is the story or your statement. And then finally, your call to action. And the call to action is, hey, Brandon, what's going to be easier to continue building your business to where you're building it or maybe looking at other options? Hey, what's, what do you think would be easier to continue living paycheck to paycheck or at least taking a look at another option? What's going to be easier is a very powerful question. And you don't have to do it a direct and hard. It's just a question. I'm curious, what's going to be easier? Continue building your life the way you're building it or to maybe look at another option. And this is what I really love to the word option. People love options. You can always remember that. People love options. Uh, if I go to buy shampoo, there's 50,000 options. It's just shampoo, almost the same chemicals, but they want options. Go buy deodorant. There's 50,000 options. Just deodorant. Now I'm a man, so I find my one that I like and I order it on Amazon every time and it never changes, and that's good. But I still want the option to be able to order something else. So let's go over this and role play a little bit. Hey, Brandon, you already know that closed minded people never get the success they want. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you, do you consider yourself open minded? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, most, most people do. Um, what our company does is help open-minded people look at different options to building wealth, maybe outside of what they're already doing. You know, is there any reason you wouldn't, you know, and then you can go into the other pitch. So what you're doing there is you probably already know that closed-minded people never get a success. Oh, my gosh. Who's going to say they're closed-minded at that point? Yeah. But if you, the key is you want to say this in conversation. You don't just want to be talking. Hey, man, you probably, instead of you probably already know, hey, Brandon, you probably already know. You know, you want to make it conversational. Now, maybe you're doing a sales call. Maybe Wendy, somebody's went through your funnel, they're on a call with you, and they're like, uh, Wendy, I just don't know. Uh, I love your website. It looks like you had a genius coach help you set it all up. Um, but outside of that, I really don't know what you do. Do you mind sharing? What, just tell me what you do, Wendy. This is the role playing part. This is where you get the unmute and talk. <laughs> so let me unmute myself. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm just curious. So, Wendy, we help uh, business leaders, entrepreneurs, and realtors buy back their time. We help them to not feel overwhelmed and stressed and pulled in every direction. No. Wow. That's good. That's good. So, um, yeah, I, I understand as, as I'm in the real estate world, and it's, it's always a stress or something. So um, how, how, did, how does that work? I mean, what, what, how do you help me? Is it like a pep talk or, um, you know, or is it a book I read or I mean, I, I'm a little confused. We have a proven three step method of defining, decluttering, demanding that we'll walk you through week by week over a nine period week. Awesome. Awesome. So, so is, is, what's the process again? You said a three-step. I'm in a 12-step. Defining, step cluttering, and demanding. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we'll awesome. walk through one-on-one -on -one together. 
So where did you, so you're the, you're the, you're the founder and creator of this, I'm a guess? You created this process? I'm just messing I did. Up. Good, good, no. <laughs> so listen to, uh, I mean, Brandon, come on, listen to it. What she had there was, this is who we do, this is who we are, this is our process. Very, very powerful. That was a very clear, I don't want, I don't want to take anything from that, Wendy, that was great. Um, I would say end it with a question. You know, end any statement with a question that you can. Does that make sense? So yeah, you told something me, that would help your business. Yeah, is that more time something that, that possibly, you'd yeah, be you feel like that could possibly in. help your business? Yeah. Do you find, do you see what that could possibly be an option for a business owner like yourself? Mm -hmm. Very low key, very relaxed. Um, so very good, but yes, that was perfect. Now you could also say, uh, help what you just said. I'm not going to try to repeat it because you said it perfect. Sound like you've repeated it a few times. And that's good. You're practicing it. But then you could also say, oh, my man. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You know how most business owners are stressed out, pulled in a hundred different directions, and just kind of somebody sometimes feel like they're just lost in a sea of busyness instead of productivity. Yes. And you know, so you say that or whatever. What I do. And then you is what you just said was very good. So, so Wendy, tell me what you did. So instead of telling me what you do immediately, um, let's role play that again because you did really good on there. So Wendy, I'm just really curious. I went through your amazing funnel and watched your video and and um, I'm excited to be on the phone with me, to be on the phone with you, but I'm just a little curious. I don't know what this is. I don't know if you got a book or a program you're going to sell me or if there's a retreat and we're going to walk on fire or something. I really don't know what we're going to do, but um, can, you, can you share with me a little more? Yep. So we help uh, business hold on, leaders. Hold on, on. Hold on, hold on. Before you, that's good. Oh. Start with the question though. So um, do you know how, or I think you already know, or you probably already know. Do you know how do business you know that? Yeah. You probably already know that busyness is not productivity. Yeah, I do know that. Yeah. I'm busy all the time. Yeah. So my, we help, what my business does is help people move forward with precision and laser sharp focus, increasing their productivity and revenue and decreasing their stress. Is that something that you could see helping your business? Perfect. See, perfect. Moving. Yeah. Yeah. Is that something you could see helping your business or um, do you, is, do you see that's possibly something, you know, that, or is that something that you may face yourself from time to time, the productivity or the busyness instead of productivity? See, when you made that too easy because you had a really, you've got it laid out and mapped out very well what you do and who you help. My thing is by asking a question, by straightening truism first, like okay. you probably already know, you get in a yes state of mind. Yes. Now, if I was being really easy, I'm curious, just tell me what you do. Some people are going to not be that easy. Mm -hmm. Some people are like, who are, you, who are you again, Wendy? I'm sorry, you, who are you? What, what company are you with? I'll do it with Brandon. I'll give you a, I'll give you a break. Hey, Brandon. Um, hey, Brandon. Yeah, so, I, I, yeah, man, I, you just called me. I'm just calling you back. I missed a call from this number. You know, uh, you said we had an appointment set or something. I don't, I don't remember that. Who, who are you with? What, what company are you with? I'm actually with uh, EXP Realty. Oh, okay. Um, well, man, I'm not looking to buy a house. Or, man, I'm a, I'm a realtor too. I don't understand. What was this call about? Oh, did we no, have an appointment probably... set up? Yes. Yeah, we did. Uh, oh, we did. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we, so we, go we, ahead. We what, spoke, what you got? <laughs> we spoke, spoke briefly last week. Um, well, you know, as you probably know, uh, you know, agents are basically unemployed in between each each deal that they that they close and, and cause a massive stress waiting for that their next deal to close and they sometimes don't even know where it's coming from um you know what we do is kind of kind of put more um oh, sorry it's okay <laughs> put, put more of a uh um oh, can't i'm blanking on the word consistent uh, income yes that's what i'm looking for <laughs> put more of a, a consistent income uh behind uh the agent so to kind of uh remove the stresses uh that they that they typically deal with in, in a, a normal model um do you see i mean does is that do you see how that might be able to to help uh agents or, or even yourself 
That was really good. And what I liked about that at the end is do you see how that could help agents? Anytime, or even yourself is fine, but anytime we say um, we direct it to them, so I can, I can look at people and realize in the outside view, Wendy, you'll be the same, you know, all of you, you can look at something and go, I wouldn't do that that way. That's stupid. And you can say, but, but the first time you call them out, like, why'd you do that? All of a sudden they have to defend their word. Does that make sense? Why, why are you with, why are you with Cola Williams? I mean, Keller Williams, that's why are you with them? I mean, they don't, they don't have what we have. All of a sudden they got to defend it. So what we want to do is, um, ask and mark feel free to jump in here mark is a talent consultant in dallas i love dallas i'm telling you dallas fort worth is my second home if it could be um so but in so that's a great follow through though um is asking at the end do you see how is it pop do you see how that could help other agents a person can so if i say Brandon, you can easily see the benefits of working with our team. Why do I have the right to say that? That sales resistance can go up. But if I say, hey, I'd love to share with you a couple of things that other people have seen. And I have found that a person, you know, that some people can get really excited about working with me as a coach. Now, I'm not saying you should be excited. I'm saying some people can. And people put the some people, they put their self in that some people place. So, you know, back to Wendy, Wendy did great with that. You know how busyness equals or productivity versus busyness. Here's what I want you guys to, you know, always give homework on these. I want you to write down three. Now we want to ask questions. There's magic happens in the asking, but you have to start a conversation. So what are three main uh, pain points or emotions, let's just even say emotions, that somebody, your ideal client is going to face. That at least starts the conversation in the right way. You know, I have found, Brandon, that a lot of people are frustrated, uh, angry, maybe even fearful, I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter to three emotions. I don't want to really give them to you. I want you to come up with your own. Um, I'll cheer with you in the Wealthy Coach program when I find. I found that most coaches are frustrated because they realize they've got so much potential and they're just not finding the clients they need. They are um, upset when they see all of the other coaches out there making all this money and nobody's coming to them. And maybe they're concerned that if this doesn't work, what else are they going to do? And that probably wasn't the best one because that was frustrated. That says F U C. I didn't, <laughs> but you want to have, you want to have the three words that, you know, if it was angry, uh, fearful and um, scared, that's AFS. And I literally, for, for probably two years, I had those three words on a sticky note on my computer. So when I was talking with a prospect, I would start with those. Do you know how some people, you know how some people or you know, some agents are frustrated? They're maybe upset, maybe they're, and I do hit them real quick. Um, does that make sense? Or uh, when, you, when you think about any area in your business, Wendy, what do you feel? And I would kind of open that up. So I want to give them a, a jumping board, if that makes sense. Um, and talk about, and, and so you're doing two things. You're giving them a jumping board to start the conversation. You're also opening it up from analytical to emotional. Every decision's made emotional, period. I had an argument with a real estate investor yesterday that said, you're absolutely wrong. My last two decisions were strictly numbers. Commercial deal, these were the numbers, here's the cap rate, here's everything. And I was like, wow, maybe he's right. I said, well, how'd you feel about making that deal? I felt good. I said, okay, <laughs> that's an emotion. So I'm not wrong. So everything is emotional. So back to the YSC, because we veered a little bit there, but I really want you to grab a hold of this. You probably already know, or do you know? I think you already know. The whole point of that is conversational, and you just want somebody to shake their head, at least internally. And then your next job is to come up with five or six truisms about your industry. You and both of you, since you're in real estate, 
Uh, now, Mark, I know you're in talent, so you're going to come up with your five. And Wendy, you're going to be working with the realtors. You really want to come up with what the realtor feel. And one of the best ways to do that is to pick up the phone and ask them. Right. Hey, my coach just asked me to call you <laughs> and ask you, what, are, what is a common emotion you go through each day, each week? Hey, you know, when you sell a home, you got a closing, everything's great. But what about in between? How about your daily activity? Um, I know from being in the industry, it's a lot of, am I spinning my wheels? If I, am I running in place? Am I, where's my next deal coming from? What if this deal falls apart? Um, I bought a Mercedes to show off, but can I really even afford the Mercedes? Am I really, you know, why can't I have my Jeep or my truck? I mean, it's going to tell you what people are thinking in their heads. Um, so I wrote down five, four, I'm sorry. I wrote down prices go up faster than our paychecks. The cost of living goes up faster than paychecks go up. Um, Closed-minded people never get the success they want. And I can't say, hey, Wendy, closed-minded people never get the success they want. You need to open your mind and work with me. You'd be like, wow, and you're you know, unusually arrogant and rude. But if I said, you know, you probably already know, Wendy, that those closed-minded people, they never get the success they really want. Oh, my gosh, you can't say you're that person now. Okay, having more money gives us more options. I mean, you probably already know that having more money gives us more options. Yeah? And they're going to say, yeah. And do you know how living paycheck to paycheck feels like a dead end road. And what did you want them to do is say, yes, I do know how that feels. Well, what I, and then you go into, so you come up with four or five of your own. I've already given you four that will work. So add two or three to it. Um, hit me in the Slack channel on those because I will steal them and use them myself. <laughs> and you'll help each other. Um, what I do, what our company does, so what I do is, or what our company does, and again, if you're you're one on one, you're the you're the consultant. Then what our consultant team does, what I what I do, there's nothing wrong with saying what I do. If you're working for a large organization, what our team does, and we help people. You want to give a small benefit there, or you want to tell a story. We help people double their income in the next twelve to twenty four months without blank without taking on another job we help married couples find the love and romance back in their life without having to go through a divorce that's huge if i got any i know several of you that are going to watch the replay here are doing relationship coaching and so let's play with that just off the cuff um brandon you probably already know how marriage can be difficult at times and sometimes it can be a challenge you need food somebody that you love. So in case your wife's watching, just don't shake your head up and down or nothing. Just sit there. <laughs> um, so, you know, well, what we do or what I do is help couples find that love and romance without having to hire a divorce attorney or blah, 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 blah. Go through years of therapy. So you want to tell what you do, your story, small. This is short. This isn't a pitch. In fact, Wendy, I love yours, but I would try to, I would have your version you got there for the person that's like, yes, tell me more. And I'd have a shortened version for somebody that's just, just tell me what you do. Maybe half of a size. And then, hey, Brandon, can I ask you, what's going to be easier to, you know, continue living life like the way you're living or to look at another option? I may not be that bold, but you really, what's going to be easier? And I help people decide. I don't help you decide, Brandon. You're your own man. I help people decide what's going to be easier to continue building their real estate business or where to build it or to at least read a book and take a look at another option. Oh, I'm, I'm people. Can I read the book? Um, so, Brandon, I help people at least have another option in their life. Are you, you know, would you object to another option? No. Yeah. So you can ask, are you open to or would you object to? The power of no. No is a big word. Jim Camp, Chris Foss. If you can get somebody to say no, feels better than getting them to say yes. 
Okay. This helping at all? This good stuff? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. yeah. I I struggle with with this for, for the longest time. I had a um, I my my intro when people ask me what I did, I would say I wouldn't even say real estate agent because the conversation would like just turn. So I would just after I had my uh, my first podcast, I would be like, I'm a podcast host, and they're like, oh, really? What like they don't even know what it is, or they were more interested in that, but they were so used to just being hammered over people about. Hey, you know anybody looking to buy or sell? My, you know, the best compliment you can give me is a referral, like straight into like getting hammered. Um, so I was always nervous. I before my my podcast, I'd be like, uh, I'm in real estate. <laughs> like too, yeah. ner too nervous to even just jump in because it was. I, so this is very helpful because I have struggled with this for a long time. Well, so this will help you, and because the same thing, I'm a network marketer. Oh my gosh, what are you trying to sell me? Oh, is that a pyramid? Isn't that a pyramid scheme? Isn't that a Ponzi scheme? Um, well, you know how people recognize that. You know, well, you know how it's really hard to make ends meet sometimes. It seems like there's more month than there is money. Yeah. I help people get the second paycheck without getting a second job. Or I help people, you know, add another five to $800 a month to their uh, bank account every month without really doing anything different. Tax credits. So, yeah, make it easier. Same thing. I, so I had a meeting with, uh, I said a meeting. I went to pick up somebody from a party once. <laughs> my brother's like, hey, come get me. And so I go to pick him up. And this other guy I used to go to school with, a few years older, he sits there, hadn't seen a guy in 15 years. And it's, um, he's telling me all about his life, his sexual explorations. All of this is every other word's profanity. And my brother's sitting up there grinning. And finally he said, hey, you do know Wayne's a pastor now, don't you? And the guy, I mean, he didn't just step back bigger. He literally stepped back and said, oh, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. And you know what it did? It destroyed a good conversation. It destroyed a good conversation because now he was scared every time he said, damn, or something. Oh, I mean, I mean, darn. It destroyed a good conversation because I'm not ashamed to be a minister, but I first wanted to be a real person. Mm -hmm. Now, it took two years to open back up that guy to talk with me. I had to mail him one of my books, got conversation started, and ended up he needed help on a spiritual and life level. So we were able to help him. But the point is, you're right. Real estate agent. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. I already have one. I already have an agent. Oh, you're a life coach. Oh, my life is great. You know, you're, you're a business consultant. Oh, that means you want to charge me $5,000 an hour. I'm good because we label titles with preconceived. That makes sense. Um, and so we have to break that by telling what we do in a way that doesn't trigger sales resistance, but invites curiosity. Um, and so your know, podcast host is neat. Oh, great. Can you make money doing that? How do you make money? You know, you know, get people started to talk. Um, uh, Wendy, I know you're, you know, you definitely are in fitness. Somebody says, I'm a fitness instructor. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'd get this image of somebody making me do squats and burpees and I'm not. You know. <laughs> but what if they said this? You know how it is as you get older, Wayne? Yes, I do. <laughs> you know how you get older. It's just sometimes it's, you don't have the energy you used to have and maybe the drive isn't there and maybe you're just achy and, you know, I'm like, oh man, I do. I'm almost 50. I totally get it. Yeah, you know, I help men over 40 gain more energy, have better sex, lose the aches and pains, da, 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 without having to jump into something like crazy like CrossFit. Ta-da, here's my credit card. You've got me. Does that make sense? If that's who your avatar is. So, and really, if somebody were to send to me and say that, I'd be like, all right, dude, how much? How do we work this? You know, let's do this. I got a friend trying to get me in CrossFit. I'm like, dude, there's no way. I'm 50, almost 50 years old. I'm not doing CrossFit. No. <laughs> no, no, not doing it. Give me something simple. Give me something that'll make me feel better. Um, but that's the key. If you're into that, then you think everybody is. To back to your ideal client avatar, you're going to work with realtors, um, Wendy, that are going to go, oh, are you in real estate? Oh, you're not a realtor? Oh, then why would I, why would you teach me? So we're going to teach you that. I'm going to teach you exactly how to overcome that. Brandon, you're going to have people to go, oh, I've heard of them. Isn't that a pyramid? 
isn't that a Ponzi scheme? Here daily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and so, so we want to overcome that initial resistance. Um, I mean, literally, when I hear somebody now tell you with that kind of like, oh, cool, are you recruiting? Are you building? And they're they're either lot up or they or even in the company. No, 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 no. I'm not one of those guys. I'm not one of those guys. Oh, well, that's a shame. I might sign up with you. Well, well, really? Well, maybe I am one of those guys. <laughs> Schizophrenia. So we have to look at what does somebody enter in a place of curiosity. So that's the why is, you know, the, you know, the, the you. You probably already know. You probably already heard. Um, and then I'm trying to get back to my own notes because I wanted, I broke down something here I want to share with you all. If you will... If you will write out again four or five common three major emotions. I'm sorry, I'm gonna give me homework straight. Three major emotions that somebody may feel. The general consensus is they feel uh, about your industry. And now I know also Wendy, you're going to be doing real estate and other businesses. So just what do business owners feel? Um, and then a couple of truisms. You know, money's tight real estate's tough, whatever. And it does need to have a little bit of a negative slant. And that's okay. We don't want to go deep, but we want to have a little negative slant there. We want them to go, yeah, because misery loves company. Yeah, I do know. Sure. Um, what I do is blank. Or my, what my company does is blank. And that needs to be short. Like I said, we need to do maybe half of what you got there. And then a... Would you like to hear more about that? Or would we you know? Would you object to reading some information about that? Would you object to hopping on a call and learning more about that? I had a Facebook message this morning. It was a simple communication. The guy's trying to um, get me to buy a Bitcoin or whatever. I'm like, hey, dude, my Bitcoin doubled last month. I'm excited. Everything's great. I love Bitcoin. And we had a conversation back and forth. He said, well, what do you do, Wayne? I said, well, it's really interesting that you asked that. I actually teach people how to take that question you just asked me and turn it into income. He said, what do you mean? I said, what do you do for a living? I said, I, what I do is teach people how to take that very same question and find clients and blah, 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 blah. I went into it and he's like, well, how do I, do, how do I find, I didn't have to ask him. He said, well, how do I find out more about you? And I'm like, great. You know, you know, if you're open to it, check out this call or check out this, you know, website. So if you'll work on that guys, I think you'll have a great, way to start working drop it in the slack channel if you don't mind um and for mark thanks for jumping on and the ones that are going to see this if you want to know more about who we are and what we're doing on facebook it's real results um coaching and if you of course you can also jump over to discoverrealresults.com and i have like 18 different urls so i'm gonna give you one more and that is how to sell coaching.com so if you're a coach consultant course creator then how to sell coaching.com but to discover real results if you're looking to learn more about client attraction um mark thanks again for jumping on board uh i've got your comments there in chat i appreciate that and if you have any questions you know mark feel free to reach out to me um wendy brandon any other thoughts before we close up any other feedback? Good. No, but I did really like that about changing the words on things. Cause I find even with the word coaching that a lot of people are just like, what, like what the coach? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to make me do push up. Unless they're already in that space. You'd have yeah. to, them. or I have like a friend who is a teacher who does one-on-one -on -one tutoring, but she says she's a tutor. They think she's like a kid just helping you after school. So I'm like, if you just change that word. <laughs> People would Absolutely. understand more. Be like, I teach kids one on one. What word? So, what word? I'm glad we're going to take a minute on this. What word would you use instead of tutor? Because I run into the same situation with a friend of mine. His wife's a tutor. She charges 15 bucks an hour, and she's got to drive there. And I'm like, dude, she needs to set up a system. If this girl charges 80 an hour. Like she's, yeah. she has a master's. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I, I know a friend in Atlanta <laughs> charges 100 an hour, 110, yeah. and her husband charges 110. But they don't call themselves tutors either. And that's where you got to have, so back to the whole Wealthy Coach program. She is the founder and create, and I won't say it here publicly because I don't want somebody to grab it. She's the founder and creator of, and she has her learning system that she's given a name 
and she is a, I don't remember her exact title, what she titles herself as, but it's a system. Now the system is A before E, you know, whatever your tutors do, <laughs> you know, E before I, whatever, I don't know, you know, a tutor does what a tutor does, I'm not one, but the point is, yeah, you're right, a name change can totally change everything. Personal teacher, or I don't know. Um, let me look and see. Eat like. Yeah. Okay, so but I'm Wayne Sutton. I'm a personal teacher, or oh, I'm an advanced um, learning specialist, advanced teaching specialist, Lance, whatever specialist, or I'm Wayne Sutton, founder and creator of um, Higher Dimensions, which is a da 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 da. Oh wow! I mean, yeah, I, you're worth eighty an hour, Wayne. Susie, homemaker, is only worth fifteen an hour. All it is is changing the name, you know. Right. Um, Mark, you're a talent consultant. I love that. I, you know, I'd like to know more what a talent consultant is. Um, are you on, on, and are you a talent consultant of your own firm or somewhere else? But if it's your own firm, then you're a talent. You, are you the founder and creator of this, which is our proprietary method of discovering and building talent in this industry? So it's, it really is all words. That doesn't mean you can BS your way through it. You really got to have the goods, but if you've got the goods, you need to let people know it. Um, so I work with a gentleman digital marketing company and they transfer phone calls, live calls. Somebody wants to buy a property, they live transfer to an agent. But they don't say, hey, let me get an agent on the phone for you. Let me get Brandon. He's a buying specialist in Boise, Idaho. Or let me get, you know, let me get Wendy on the phone. She's the vice president of sales and acquisition for that market. Um, you know, okay. Um, don't want to be the president either. You want to be the vice president in that situation. The reason is you can always say, let me chat with the president. I'm just kidding. But anyway, um, guys, I appreciate it. So, yeah, my hands are tied. I got to check with the up, which is my wife in my case. So, um, but guys, I appreciate it. I hope this has been good. The replay will be in the real results. Brandon, I'll see you tomorrow at four. Wendy, are we back on the schedule? Did you reschedule? Friday. Friday, okay, we'll see you then Friday. Mark, again, discoverrealresults.com, howtosellcoaching.com, and I look forward to it. Guys, appreciate it. Talk soon. Thanks, Wayne.